Hi everyone, and this is Andy with Bloomer.com. In this video, we're gonna compare SurveyMonkey with Survey Sparrow and Zoho Survey to find out which survey app you should choose. I have created four categories that we will use to compare these apps and we will give them a score. The first place gets two points, the second place one point, and the third place doesn't get any points. At the end, we're going to review the final score and I will give you my personal opinion as well. All right, let's get started. Category one, user interface, navigability, and administration. Survey Sparrow has a really polished user interface that looks very good and intuitive. The elements are well organized and when I set up the account for the first time, it didn't take me much time to get used to it. The options available are easy to identify, like the new survey button, the create new workspace button, the create dashboard button, as well as the actions you can take on any survey. And editing a survey is simple. You have a few top options and some of them have a submenu like the build page. Zoho survey has a simpler interface that looks a little bit outdated, but it is straightforward. For the most part, it is easy to know where the elements are and the create survey button is always present. But there are some things that could be a little bit confusing, like the top menu that shows all surveys, but there is also a page for drafts, another one for published, and another one for closed surveys. This could be all on the same page with a filtering option. Editing a survey can be a little bit confusing as well because on the editor tab, you have a submenu with elements like summary, reports, and audit logs, which are not editing options. This could be in a separate tab for reports. SurveyMonkey also has a pretty simple interface with only a few options on the navigation bar. When you are on the dashboard, you will find your recent surveys and insights about them. The create survey button is always there and it is easy to identify the options you have regarding surveys. Editing a survey could be slightly more difficult than with the other two apps because you have a top menu with several tabs and then you have a sub menu on the left. So on this category, Survey Sparrow wins with the best user interface followed by Survey Monkey, and in third place we have Zoho Survey. Category two, top features. Let's go over the features that all the apps have. All of them can do logic either with questions or pages, meaning that you can skip questions or pages based on previous answers. They all have templates available so you can save time when creating your survey and you can customize the surveys with your own branding and colors. You can also see reports of the surveys in all the apps and customize them create your own widgets and share or send the reports to other people. More features that are included in all the apps are the option to buy responses, custom variables, and survey password protection. Now, SurveyMonkey has the option to create a survey for you automatically based on your survey topic. It also has a bank of questions that you can use when building your own survey, and it will give you a survey score based on the questions you're asking, amount of questions, etc. Survey Sparrow allows you to translate a survey to multiple languages and collect the feedback all in the same place. Another feature is cases that you can use to respond back to responders based on the feedback you received from the survey. Both SurveyMonkey and Survey Sparrow have the option to present the survey as a standard survey, as a question by question survey, or as a chat. So in this category, SurveyMonkey and Survey Sparrow were really close, but I think SurveyMonkey has the advantage because the features are more related to what the app is for, which is surveys. Two points for SurveyMonkey, one point for Survey Sparrow, and no points for Zoho Survey. Category three, automations and integrations. Zoho Survey has several integrations available with Zoho products like CRM or Sales IQ. For example, you can automatically send a survey to a client from the CRM, but it lacks of integrations with other CRMs like HubSpot or Salesforce. Some automations are also available, like sending emails based on survey answers, triggering functions, or using webhooks. Survey Sparrow has a robust set of apps that can integrate with. Several CRMs are included, as well as customer support apps and email marketing apps. An integration with Zapier is also available, which can open up your options. You can automate Survey Sparrow with workflows like sending emails, webhooks, and using the API. SurveyMonkey has the biggest integration marketplace of all the apps where you can find a lot of categories like CRM, customer support, office suite, marketing, and more. But on the other side, if you want to set up automations, you will have to use a third-party app like Zapier. 
The only workflows you can set up are email notifications based on survey answers. So in this category, Survey Sparrow gets two points, being the most balanced. Survey Monkey gets one point, and Zoho Survey doesn't get any points. Category four, price. All the apps on this list have a free version that you can use, but it is pretty limited. Soho Survey and Survey Sparrow let you try out the paid versions for a period of time, but Survey Monkey doesn't have a trial period. So if we compare the three apps on a similar setting with around 6,000 survey responses per month for a small team, we can see that Survey Monkey costs $75 per user per month, but it requires three users minimum. Then we have Survey Sparrow that costs $100 a month, but it includes two users, so it would be $50 per user. And then we have Zoho Survey that the pro version costs $35 per user per month. Of course, all the apps have plans that are less expensive than the ones I mentioned, like the individual plans of Survey Sparrow and Survey Monkey, or the plus plan of Zoho Survey. Overall, the most affordable app is Zoho Survey, winning this category. On the second place, we have Survey Sparrow, and on the third place, Survey Monkey, being the most expensive app on this video. Now, the final result and a few notes on the three apps. The best survey app based on the score is Survey Sparrow with six points, followed by Survey Monkey with four points, and in the last place is Zoho Survey with two points. But this doesn't mean that any of these apps are bad in any way. Just that overall, if you choose Survey Sparrow, you will have access to more features, integrations, and other options that might be useful for you and your business. If you would like to try out Survey Sparrow, check out the links in the description. Survey Monkey is the industry standard, that's why it's the most expensive, but if you want the best of the best, you should go with this app. They have a lot of integrations and some really advanced survey features for enterprises. Soho Survey is the best entry-level app with a super simple interface and it is very affordable if you're just starting. It also integrates very well with other Soho apps, so if you are in the Soho ecosystem, go for this one. All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please click the like button. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.